So we're gonna go and then Sue's gonna go right into Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, I'll point at you if you if you're confused at all. Alright, you guys ready? Okay. Okay. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Here we go. recording the cast album. We are recording a Broadway soundtrack for the musical. It's just so much fun so far. <laughs> all the mics and the headphones and the sheets of music and the paper are all over the place. It's so cool. We have top tier musicians and actors, singers, and uh, the guys who wrote the show are incredible. The guys who conduct the show are incredible. So I just feel humbled to be in this company. I'm just, I'm so excited that uh, we're doing a Broadway cast album. I just think, you know, the cachet of it being the Broadway album is, is wonderful. So this is really cool. Um, this is the first time I've ever had to do something in the studio, um, but it was great because we had the actual orchestra with us. So it was just like doing a performance. Um, you know, you can see us doing the moves and stuff while we're, while we're recording, but it's really cool. A lot more zing, a little less shh, a lot more showing, a little less dressing like your mum, a little more bottom bum bum bottom bum. Whoop, I look nice. You don't. No one's gonna tell you when to wiggle your bum No one's gonna love you if you don't know the rumba. Everybody loves a little something exotic, but learning a language is over the top. It doesn't really matter if you're done up. So long as you don't know it with the volume up The less you have to sell, the harder you sell it The less you have to say, the louder you yell it The dumber the act, the bigger the confession The less you have to show, the louder you dress it You gotta get up, you gotta get up with me Matilda is about a little girl whose parents are really mean to her. She's very serious because she really has nothing to be happy about because her parents are really, really cruel to her. She has very mean parents that think she's weird because she reads and all they do is watch TV. Mrs. Wormwood is so sweet and so nice. Harry Wormwood is uh, my, the character that I play in the show is the sort of unsung hero of the piece, really. No, um, she's a really awful, stupid mother and really hates Matilda. No, I'm kidding. He's a daft used car salesman and he's the father of Matilda and her intelligence terrifies him because he has very little of his own. All together now, all I know, I learned from Tammy. And then she also meets the Trunchbull, the evil headmistress of her school. And she finds out that she's not so nice either. She, she's just crazy. And a horrible person who, who just hates kids and doesn't like them at all. It's a lot of fun for me to, to give her life and flesh and she's got a lot of flesh as well she's a very she's a fairly fleshy um, she's a large woman she's a very bitter and twisted old woman who has a deep hatred of children she's a disciplinarian she's um, her, her role as headmistress is to keep these kids in line um, what she does with a, an iron hand what do you think it took to become English hammer throwing champion? 1969, do you think in that moment when my big moment came that I treated the rules with casual disdain? Well, like hell! As I stepped up to the circle, did I change my plan? <laughs> what? 
As I chalked up my palms, did I wave my hands? I did not. As I started my spin, did I look at the view? Did I drift off and dream for a minute or two? Do you think I faltered or amended my rotation? Do you think I altered my intended elevation? As the hammer took off, did I change my grunt? From the grunt I had practiced for many a month Not a jot, not a dot, did I stray from the plot? Not a detail of my throw was adjusted or forgotten Not even when the hammer left my hands And sailed high up, up above the stands Did I let myself go? No, 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 no No. <laughs> the chokey, which is um, a cupboard in her office lined with spikes and wood. It's kind of solitary confinement mixed with an, a kind of iron maiden. And children emerge eventually from the chokey and they're never the same again. So this is the greatest um, sort of threat in her arsenal. Hey Matilda, they're saying she's going to put me in chokey! <laughs> Chokey. There's a place you are sent if you haven't been good. And it's made of spikes and wood. And it isn't wide enough to sit. And even if you could, there are nails on the bottom. So you wish you'd stood when the hinges click and the door is closed. You cannot see squat. Not the end of your nose. And when you scream, you don't know if the sound came. Miss Honey and the Trunchbull are total opposites. And Miss Honey and Matilda are just best friends. She meets her beautiful teacher, Miss Honey, and Miss Honey is totally opposite. Um, she's a really sweet person and she appreciates every child, which is like the nicest teacher ever. Like really the only thing she has to be happy, she has to be happy about is Miss Honey, because Miss Honey is like the only nice person in our life. Well, they are great kids, and uh, I think it's exciting to work with them because they are so enthusiastic about just doing it. And I think sometimes as adults, you know, I've been doing this a long time, and um, I appreciate being around that energy because sometimes, you know, you, you take it for granted. And I feel really lucky that I'm able to make my living doing what I'm doing, which is just playing, basically. It's like being a kid. So to be able to do that with all these other children every day is it's, it's really fun. On these walls I hang wonderful pictures. Through this window I can watch the seasons change. By this lamp I can read. so different. It's totally different than the London one. And it's, it's us, you know, it's, it's going to be different because it's different people. A major difference is that it's really an entirely new cast. Uh, so that's going to be really cool to hear our version and, you know, hear, hear what we do on stage. It really feels like exactly what we do on stage. And there's going to be lots of bonus material on this album. They are doing all of the acrobat stories. And is a kind of spine of the show, really. Dennis's clever way of giving the, the backstory, which ultimately unlocks the kind of denouement of the story. And they're also doing a song that Sergei had that sadly was cut because of time. And then I believe they're also doing the four girls doing Naughty. There's going to be a bonus track of four girls Naughty. And each Matilda gets a section of Naughty that we all sing together, so it's fun. <laughs> and then in the end we all join together and sing the last part, so it's pretty cool, it's fun. I'm just excited about it because we haven't done many Four Girl Naughties. What's nice about that is that the part really belongs to all four of them.
really believe that Tim Minchin and Dennis Kelly uh, are possibly going to become a new voice in this genre. And the music, I mean, the, the music is the kind of pulse and the lifeblood of the show, actually. They've created this in incredible uh, piece and broken so many rules of what is normally done in musicals. The whole emotional journey of the show for me is there in the music. I hope you enjoy this recording of Matilda the Musical. Uh, yeah, there's some seriously amazing people on it. Bye, hope you like the CD. Come see the show. <laughs> Even if you're little, you can do a lot. Enjoy the cast recording. <laughs>